Hi everyone, how are you doing? I hope you are having a great beginning with 2021. So today I bring you a brand new video of my recent favorite painting that I named Peony. And I will also share with you some of the reasons why I do not make digital arts and why I have always been sticking to traditional arts. Before we get into it, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch more videos from me. A lot of contents are coming up in the near future, so stay tuned. You can also find me on Instagram, I'm at Hanotus Art. I post all of my artworks there and share a lot of my personal stuff, so if you are interested, the link is right in the description. Alright, so now I will share some of my thoughts about digital art and traditional art. And explain my preferences. Well, one important thing I should say right from the beginning is everything I share in this video is my personal thoughts only. So yeah, it's purely what I feel so please don't take it personally. If you have different opinions you can always leave a comment and I'll make sure to look at it. Okay, let's start. The thing is now digital art has grown so strongly and has gained so much popularity amongst artists community if you search for the hashtag digital art on instagram you'll see nearly 26 million posts but if you search for the traditional one then there are only about 12 million posts so it could be seen that the number of digital artworks on instagram are six times more than that of traditional ones when i saw this number I thought a lot about the reasons why digital art has become so popular and I could say dominant in the art community. There could be a lot of explanations for this such as the expansion of technology, the impressive convenience and experiences that digital arts can bring to artists in terms of speed and quality. However, I will never say that digital art is easier. Or harder than traditional art because I don't have enough experiences and knowledge about digital art so I will not comment on this but for me specifically digital art is just not my thing for three reasons the first one is digital art cannot bring the feeling so the first reason is a bit hard to explain but I guess it's pretty familiar with those who prefer paper books over ebooks you know when you're holding a physical book in your hand, you can smell the paper, feel its texture through your fingers, you can hold a pen in your hand and take notes of the parts that resonate with you. But those things you cannot fully experience with ebooks. I think I am that kind of person who cherishes the sentimental size of traditional values. Yes, you can say that. I am an old school type and it also explains why I love traditional art more than digital one. I just adore all the experiences that traditional drawing offers. I love setting up my art tools every time I paint. I love mixing the colors with my brushes and observing how they blend in with the water. I love that feeling of actually holding a pencil, a brush and see them work on a piece of paper. I even love how messy my table is after I finish painting. It may sound ridiculous, but yeah, it's just really, but I just really like, you know, cherish the experiences with traditional art. And I will not be able to do that with digital art. Also, I don't know, maybe in the near future, the majority of artists will shift to digital art. And I want to be one of not so many people who still preserve the original form of art. Yeah. So the second reason is digital art can be less risky than traditional art. Well, maybe you're like, girl, it's not a reasonable explanation. If it's less risky, you should try it. We know that we we know that with digital art, you can try with a lot of brushes, colors, etc. before making the last decision. And if you make a mistake, you can always get back and change it. But the thing with traditional art is that once you go wrong, it's impossible to get back. There's no control Z and if you make a big mistake, then probably you'll have to start over again or move on to the next painting. I think with traditional art, I've learned to become so much more aware and careful about what I'm doing. I've learned to be really focused on my task without getting any distractions. Even when things went wrong with some paintings, I still learned to find some ways to fix them or just try to work through them even if there there's still something i did not plan or expect or feel satisfied with 
I've learned to be patient and more process-oriented with traditional art. I think those lessons are very useful and unique. And drawing traditionally has helped me become a better version of myself in general, not only in my art journey. The third reason is that my eyes cannot handle digital art. This is a really personal yet a so basic reason why I stay away from digital art, and I should mention it. I, I did try to make art on my laptop a few times in the past, but honestly, the feeling of sticking my eyes to the screen just stresses me out. I share this with one of my friends who also makes digital art, and she told me that, um, don't worry, you will soon get used to it. But well, I guess it just does not apply to me because whenever I have to look at the screen, laptop or smartphone for a long time and many days in a row, such as when I had to do some work relating to my teaching job or sitting in an office, my eyes became so dry and blurry. I have to admit that my eyes are really weak and it went to a point where I couldn't open my eyes when I woke up in the morning. It was so so dry and stinging and I felt miserable during the day. And it did not get better over time guys unless I took some medicines. Maybe when I say this to others, they will be like, come on, it's not that bad. But it is that bad. People can only truly understand if they have sensitive and weak eyes like mine. Anyways, that's one of the reasons why I cannot do digital art. Alright, alright, so I think those are the main three biggest reasons why I don't do art digitally. Maybe some of you are questioning why I don't do both. Well, I will not say for sure that in the next five years I won't do digital art because we never know. Things can change, people change, I change, and I cannot anticipate what I am going to think in the next five years. But one thing I can know for sure is that I will never give up on traditional art. Really, it will forever be a huge part in my art. I think that is it for everything I want to share in this video. Do you do digital art? What advantages and experiences did you have with it? What about those who do art traditionally? How do you feel about it? And are you going to change to digital art one day? How about those who do both? Can you share some experiences and some comparisons maybe? Please leave a comment. I would love to know what you think about this. And yes, I hope you enjoyed this painting process too. This artwork is something I am pretty proud of and i hope that you will like it and if you do don't forget to like this video i will stop talking for now please take care of yourself stay safe and strong always remember that you're so amazing and beautiful and talented i will talk to you in my next video goodbye